and welcome to my quick guided tour video for this roll top desk. The reason I'm making this is for you to actually get the best possible feel of what it's all about. I want it to be as near as darn it as you're actually being here with me so you can know exactly what you potentially be buying. Well, what I've done is I've started off with the desk in the closed position. And I just want you to get, you know, the, the wonderful curves it has. One thing I'm pleased to report is that the top of it is complete. And this roller shutter, as you will shortly see, works completely and works well. One thing you may not be aware about with these desks is that the drawers will not open until the shutter is opened all the way to the top. There's a special push mechanism at the back, uh, at the back of the desk, that puts down a couple of rods that relieves the, the actual catches on these drawers. So that's one thing to know. I think it's, it's a great little device. It's all the things that are lost to history. I think it's just wonderful. You've got these pull out uh, sort of areas here. So you can put a station wheel lens or whatever you want. You've got two of those there, there. They're all good, they're all complete. And one other thing that you should know is that this desk does disassemble into three component parts. So the top actually comes away and you've got that half there and you've got the other half of the base over there so in getting this installed into your home that's one thing you'd need to know um, it, it, it can you know it is it can be dismantled and you can do that so that's just one thing that's worth knowing right well the key is an unusual shape it's got a double end to it and i'll just pop this in the lock and unlock it okay and as you'll see top rolls up nice and easy problems there too. and now that that's gone fully to the top that pushes down the mechanisms I was talking about so that now these drawers will open before they wouldn't uh, there's a pen there without a bit of a bonus for you there. and you've got a little bit of stationery should have taken that out as well anyway I'm going to push on the video regardless but um, if you want the stationery you can have it not, not to worry um, drawers the same on the other side. There's some partitions here. And you can actually put those in the, the respective drawers uh, for your choice. I'm just coming down, you can see an example there of how it's done. And there's an old bill. And there's that. The actual physical condition in terms of cosmetics I would describe as being very good. Uh, there's only, um, you know, obviously you get a few little marks and things. I mean, there's something like there. I mean, that would probably, you know, uh, polish out, but there's a few little bits there. I mean, that'll probably actually just come off with my thumb, <laughs> but yeah, that's just starting to go off there. If you can see that, so that would actually come off. The only sort of thing that is a bit of a detraction, if you like, uh, I just want to show you this side that's good as well, is we have got a little bit of a ring mark here, okay? Uh, that's you know a bit annoying, but that's there, and also you do have where there once would have been ink handled, uh, ink handled, you know, old style dipping pen pens and quills. Um, there's ink marks on that drawer there handle and I, you know, not so much on that one to be fair. But you've got all these compartments so you can put all your stationery and bits and bobs in this day you probably keep your USB sticks. And all in all that area, this area here is in pretty good condition. You've got these little sort of rails where you could, you know, once again maybe rest a letter or whatever you, you're know, working on. There's these funny little gaps there and there, and that's actually on both sides. I don't think there's any reason for them other than cosmetic purposes. So, I think that's pretty much the whole desk. You've seen the drawers. You've seen the, the top there. Let's just show you the top. Go along. A few tiny little blemishes just there and there. Coming on, we've got another little sort of gap in the there and there on the top but that's you know once again these are these are very fine little things especially when you think just how old this is and i'll hang on one little thing here once again that could be stained back but it's, it's not actually that i don't think it's actually a i don't think that's a scratch it's actually just a mark on it so there's that as well but it's, it's very fine cosmetic blemishes, bearing in mind this was used for a reasonable amount of time. I don't think it had heavy use and I think just looking at it and seeing what I've shown you already, it should be pretty obvious to you that it's not been massively, it hasn't had a very hard life. So that's the whole thing. Obviously the key is included, so you can lock things away. And that's about it. I hope that helps you. I don't want to go on too long. 
I'm going to get this on YouTube so you can see. I've kept it to approximately five minutes. And yeah, if you've got any other questions, then please do, don't hesitate to ask. The top, obviously, I said unscrews. And that's about it. So I'm just going to sort of you see the logo. Put it down. Nice. Oh, just drop the key. Typical. This is live TV after all. I'll pick that up. But yeah, it's that. The action works well, and all of that is complete, which is an important feature on these, because once they go wrong, I've heard that it can be difficult to repair. So this one doesn't need repair, it's fully working and ready to go. Well, thank you for watching. Um, that's about it, really. It's uh, just in measurement, I've measured it at just a little over, it's about 50 inches in the, in the widest point, but I'll include all the dimensions, and I'm sort of thinking I've covered all the bases now. So let's get this on YouTube, and let's get this online. And anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and catch you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.